My name is Dr. Wendy Craig and I'm a faculty member in both the developmental area in the department and the clinical area. And I think that really speaks to what our department's about and why it's special and unique and why it could be the experience that you're looking for. Because I think it talks about how we collaborate as a, as a faculty and with our students to create a broad base of knowledge. I choose to work here in uh, the clinical psychology program at Queen's for a large number of reasons, but I think the, the most important one is the people. Um, we have a very collaborative, very collegial environment here. Um, I personally collaborate with eight faculty members in the department that span across all areas of the department. Uh, right now, uh, through the Sexuality Lab, I'm working with a lab in the BBCS department, and they're helping us out with an eye tracking paradigm uh, that I think we're both really benefiting from this work because we're both able to include our own research questions that we're interested in and really uh, get at some, uh, some questions that we wouldn't be able to address by ourselves. And I just really like how collaborative the program is. It's not competitive at all. Within my own cohort, there are only 10 of us and we really helped each other to succeed in our classes and bounce ideas off of each other with, when it came to our research. So my favorite part of the program has to be the people here. Um, going to grad school is a bit of a scary experience, it's very new, but all the upper year students and the different students in my lab, they really tried to make it an easy transition for me and made me feel very welcome in the program. So you do have a lot of people on your team who want you to succeed. My favorite part about being in the clinical program at Queen's is definitely the, the students that are in the program with me. I feel like everybody is very supportive of each other, everybody has each other's back. And um, I just feel, you know, it's a difficult program, but I'm surrounded by people who are there to help me, and I'm really appreciative of that. Um, I love that the students get to uh, interact in such an enriching environment. Um, I love that they're integrated into all aspects of the program, um, and I really just love working with them every day. Our clinical psychology students at Queen's are really our junior colleagues. They're not just passively learning how to do psychology. They're bringing their own ideas and shaping our own laboratories. They get a chance to publish, they present, many of them win major awards, and they really drive the ideas and research that happens in our labs. I think we have a really strong program in terms of having actual clinicians teaching a lot of our core courses, so you're getting a really good um, kind of clinical view on things. We also have like a lot of practicum sites and each student um, typically gets within their top three choices for those. Um, one of our first practicums is actually at the psychology clinic here on Queen's campus. I think that the clinical program at Queen's is a great program because it offers a great balance between research and clinical opportunities. Um, I feel like as a researcher I've really been able to hone my skills in statistics and research methods uh, but from a clinical perspective, there's also a lot of opportunities to get involved um, and help with either assessments or treatment, uh, and I'm really looking forward to that in my next few years as a clinical student. I really like the first year coursework. So right away, you have two classes in assessment, one in each semester, one for working with adults and one for working with children. And in that class, you do get the opportunity to administer an intelligence assessment to a client. And that was my first real taste of working with a client and determining what clinical psychology would look like. In terms of research, we've got world-class, internationally renowned researchers working in the program, doing research that fully integrates students into the experience. Um, all of the students in our program publish, they all go to conferences, and I think a testament to the strength of the research is that most of our students are federally funded. One thing that Queen's probably does better than other programs is in terms of the breadth of practicum placements that we offer our clinical students. Um, because we're the only clinical psychology program in our catchment area, our students get the first choice of placements and really the only choice of, of placements. And because we're a very uh, institution-rich community, we are able to offer a huge number of placements from um, inpatient and outpatient psychiatry, uh, forensic, 
counseling, private practice with some very severe populations, borderline personality disorders, severe mental illness, treatment resistant depression. These are the sorts of populations that most students don't get the opportunity to see until internship, uh, but we're able to offer those placements here with extremely strong registered clinical psychology supervisors who are fully integrated into all aspects of our program. I'm Tess Clifford. I'm the director of the Psychology Clinic at Queen's. It's a training clinic for grad students in the clinical psychology program. Um, all of the students in our program do one of their first two placements here under my supervision. So one of my other roles within the program is coordinating practicum and we have a number of different practicum opportunities available in the community for students in our program. Uh, each student completes five or six placements over the course of their uh, training with us and uh, those placements last between four and eight months. There's also two extra clinics that you can be involved with kind of on top of practicum. So they have a child adolescent clinic which I'm involved in um, and there's also the sex therapy services as well. The clinical community has opened its doors and welcomed us. It's not a competitive environment, it's a collaborative one and our students really benefit from being in community clinics and in hospital settings. So the biggest piece of advice that I have for prospective graduate students is to uh, pick a lab that's doing work that you're really passionate about because graduate school can take a while, you know, it's, uh, it can be very difficult and if you're studying a topic that you love I think it goes by a lot faster and it can even be fun a lot of times. I was looking for a lab that was doing the type of sexuality research that I was interested in and I really found it here at Queen's and um, just being able to dive into this topic that I'm so excited about uh, has really meant a lot to me and it's, it's been a lot of fun this year.